Good evening and welcome to the April 3rd continuation of our One Ring 2nd Edition game. And we're going to get the game started pretty soon. Uh, if you will recall, we are playing Theft of the Moon by uh, Jacob Rogers uh, of actually 1st and 2nd Edition writing fame. And we're, we're going to continue that tonight. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, we had played two of seven games, and we're going to attempt to complete those this evening and then uh, complete the remainder of the adventure. And in fact, we'll probably get into the third portion of the adventure uh, almost immediately, uh, you know, by no later than the end of the, the evening. Uh, we may have to cut the evening short, though, because several folks have to be able to get to work early, early in the morning. All right, my friends, I am back. I have not paused the recording or anything like that. I see that there are some some maps of, uh, of Europe going up, pieces of Europe. Um, uh, what? That is Celtic Britain. Yeah. Celtic Britain? Okay, okay. So... It has the actual Celtic um, plans and everything. Yeah. Well, okay, that's really cool. Uh, and, of course, that, that goes with uh, uh, Remy's um, uh, heritage. So that's yeah, what we started yeah. talking about tonight. Yeah, okay. Here's what the RPG I posted. Ah. Okay, very cool. Um, okay, what... I'm going to kind of start at the top, I think. What do you all remember happening from two weeks ago? Uh, we had just finished the Pea and the Thimble game. Okay. Um, and let's see. Let me call that one up here. Uh, looks like you all are in. That's fantastic. Let me go ahead and change this over. All right. Um, so I have... It's after the moon... Uh, the Seven Trials. Let me get that open. Okay, so you had completed the Stage of the Nobles, um, and Galvira, who is a, uh, a a local one, and then you played Thimble Rig, which of course was the P in with the thimble, and Ethel the Unkind wound up winning that one. Um, now, uh, I need to go ahead and address something. Uh, last week, uh, when when you're starting a new role playing game, you kind of want to be worked into it, right? Right. Okay. Well, that's what I was doing last <laughs> week. Um, uh, I was just having you guys kind of get used to the dice and making some rolls and stuff like that. Um, tonight, uh, right at the beginning, I'm going to address what is known as hope with you guys. Hope is an in-game currency, and if you'll open up your record sheet. Um, uh, which you should be able to do with the actor's directory in the upper right of the canvas area. Uh, it looks like three little guys, one guy up front and then two guys on the sides. Um, anyway, if you'll open that up, we'll kind of go over real quick uh, where you find your hope, and we'll go over some, some basic rules for using hope. And then we'll get back to descriptions. Okay, does anybody not have their character sheet open yet? Okay. Then uh, then we'll kind of, if you'll scroll down, it's about halfway. Uh, if you put the scroll bar about halfway down your page, you're going to see Endurance, Load, Hope, and Shadow. Okay. Like I said, Hope is an in-game currency. And you can spend it to help increase or improve uh, certain rolls in or certain certain die rolls in the game. Okay, uh, generally it's uh, it only in first edition it only allowed you to add either your base or favored rating. Well, favored ratings were removed in second edition. So what it does instead is if you spend a hope point on yourself. Um, it allows you to add one dice to uh, whatever die roll you're trying to to do. If that skill, if the skill itself is favored, you get to add two dice because you're basically inspired. Okay. Um, oh, sweet. Yeah. If you go to spend a hope point 
or a fellowship point. We haven't got to fellowship points yet. I'll, I'll do that in a minute. If you go to spend a hope point on your fellowship focus, and I'll explain that in a moment, uh, they get two dice as being inspired, okay, instead of one. Now, um, let's see. Now, again, I'm I'm kind of still new to the second edition rules, so I may just have told you guys some fibs. Um, but uh, if if all of that is true, then we're good to go. Um, let's start off next with the fellowship focus. A fellow, your fellowship focus is one of the other player characters. And, and we're going to get to choosing fellowship focuses later, not right now. But it's one of the other player heroes in the game that you choose, that you you prefer, that you like, and are willing to support. Okay? Um, if, if that individual during any particular scene in the game... And yes, this is not split into scenes and acts like like Torg Eternity. It's split into just scenes. You just have scenes here. If during any scene, um, uh, your fellowship focus uh, takes uh, a wound uh, or is made miserable, you actually lose, you actually gain a shadow point. Okay? If your shadow ever exceeds your hope, you become miserable. Okay, it, and miserable is a condition in the game uh, that basically disallows you to use hope anymore. Um, and if you know, it 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 could lead to if you take damage, it could lead to you leaving the battlefield. Okay, uh, yeah, if you're, you're in a fight. Yeah, you don't want to get miserable under any condition. Right. Because it will wreck your day and your party's day. Fortunately, was Wormwood, the character Wormwood in the Lord of the Rings series, was he miserable? Uh, if you're talking about Grimmer Wormtongue, then yes. yes. I would I would say mm -hmm. that he was pretty miserable all the time. But being part of the shadow, he's basically one of the bad guys, so it doesn't it do, for him it doesn't matter. When okay. Suleiman was thrown down, he was definitely miserable as well. Yes, absolutely. Uh, miserable is is not a really a good thing. Um, now, if you come to zero hope before you're made miserable, and you have enough shadow points, you could actually end up having a. It's not really a psychotic break so much as your shadow weakness comes into effect at that point. Okay. Now, fortunately, you have a GM who doesn't like to do those sorts of things too often. I prefer the role-playing. Um, if if you, the player, are made miserable by how your character is being role-played, whether they have the, the you know, a miserable condition or not, um, uh, I'm going to play off of that, okay? Because it makes sense. Uh, it came as a result of role-playing instead of numbers, uh, and this game was definitely built around role playing as much as humanly possible. Um, now we've discussed hope. Oh, oh, fellowship focus. So fellowship focus again is uh, one of the other player heroes that you would choose to kind of take care of. You really like them. You don't want anything bad to happen to them, etc. Um, fellowship points, and like I said, we'll we'll add up fellowship points later when it becomes more relevant. Um, Fellowship points gives you a pool of extra hope points that you can pull from. Now, generally, there is a way of thinking through how to use these fellowship points. Um, uh, and you, there's a process to do it. Generally, you're going to ask your friends if, if it's okay if you use one of the fellowship points. Now... At the end of a gaming session, and this is each gaming session, uh, the fellowship pool renews. At the end of a gaming session, if you're low on hope, uh, you can restore some of that hope okay, mm -hmm. out of the fellowship pool. And then at the beginning of the next uh, adventure session, the fellowship pool renews. The, f the size of the fellowship pool is one point per character uh, in the group for that night, 
for that evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you exhaust your fellowship pool and you exhaust some hope, you cannot regain hope because your fellowship pool is emptied. But there are other ways to regain hope. Okay. We're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna deal with that later. For now, let's just kind of concentrate on die rolls and and uh see how those work and uh, again i have no qualms whatsoever uh addressing how hope works many times if necessary fair enough yeah you'll have to remind us when or remind me when it's a good time to play okay uh, no one here has the rules they sent me and paul right i don't think anybody here has a copy of the one ring second edition no so okay. um I had the PDF open and I was gonna say it's on page here. Yeah. And you can read about what it, the bonuses that you can use help for. Well but, but since only you and me have it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that that's cool. That's I mean, fine. I mean I can cut and paste it into uh Into the chat. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, I, I could uh, I could copy and paste it uh, for use, but you know what? I think it's better if we just learn to to kind of role play it together. Now, any of you can recommend to somebody else to be able to use hope. Okay, um, and I will do my best uh, over this session, and if we have any further sessions uh, during those, to to ask you guys, would you like to use a hope point to do this? Now, there are certain times when hope spending a hope point is just not going to help you at all, like really bad dice rolls. Okay, so let's uh, let's go from that, and and we'll just kind of pick up. Okay, um, now. Uh, Kitalia, who who is playing? Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me get this. Duota. Um, so Duota, you already reminded yes. us. Yes, you already reminded us about um, uh, some of the things that were happening last week, and I I've got this the seven trials open, including the next trial for the torch race. Uh, and I intend to move things around. I've already restored the very first, uh, uh, you know, the stage of the nobles. I've restored that to what it was supposed to be. Uh, and then I, and then Thimble Rig was up there, of course. So that's all squared away. So now we can, we can kind of move into the third one. But do any of you, uh, you, you had a good evening last night. There was some alcohol or, or uh, uh, before the torch race. Uh, I'm sorry, yesterday afternoon. Um, there was some alcohol involved. There was some, some things going on that were, were really good. Okay. Um, but then night comes along and they're calling for folks to participate in the torch race. So if you've been drinking, <laughs> this could become a whole lot of fun. So <laughs> Wait, so we're about to do the uh, race, right? The athletic one. Yeah, the athletic one. Um, I don't remember. Okay. We didn't do that one. No, we time. didn't. We we might have to back up just a little bit to knock that that out because you guys were doing some really good role playing, and we'll you know we'll just say that all of that role playing did work into the nighttime. The kids did pull on on uh, on um, uh, Norin's beard a couple of times, and then he told stories. And um, uh, let's see, Walford was trying to do some things to to trip up uh, Norin, but. Uh, was not able to succeed at that and then uh, let's see who was it it was who was drinking so badly the last time that they had to be carried off to bed uh, that was me okay that was Duota that's what, what I thought ah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so um, all of that so wasn't that the day before no, no, oh. that was the day before Wait a minute. You're right. That was the day before. So then we got up in the morning 
Boy, I, I'm, I'd ha I have to go. It's been a rough weekend, guys. <laughs> so I then the, completely. the stage of the nobles began the next morning, followed by Thimble Rig, and now you're getting into the time of the torch race. But you've, you've had a good feast lunch. Uh, there has been some alcohol involved. But uh, anyone who is participating in the torch race has been asked by their... Their... Um, oh, sir. Their family, patrons. their patron family. Thank you, Ginger. Um, they've been asked by their patron family to not drink so that they can get through to this. Uh, the torch race won't actually begin until uh, twilight when the sun just disappears behind the Misty Mountains um, uh, and, and everything Will like that. Will that count as dark? Um, um. It will count as dim. The torch race is, uh, it's a torch race, so you've got to have a lit torch, okay? Uh, it's going to be counted as dim. Um, right. Yeah, just because the sun goes behind the mountain doesn't mean any clouds or anything like that. All of the particles in the air won't, won't still reflect light. It means that you still got about an hour, uh, maybe an hour and a half uh, that doesn't sound right. Maybe 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes, whatever, to complete this torch race. Um, and of course, it, it's uh, it, it it's supposed to be fun. So, and, wants, wants to race. Can I hear Moon in and ask a question? Sure. Um, can I take uh, Luthwin, my open friend, as my fellowship focus? Let's uh, see, Connor. Um, you are Luthwin, um, yep. and it, it doesn't it doesn't require your permission for um, uh, for Norin to take you as uh, a fellowship I, focus. Our, I feel like how our characters are set up and how we've been role playing it so far. I think we've been traveling for a while already, so I think we're both fellowship focuses for each other. Well, yeah. you know, if that's true, go ahead and edit your your character sheet yep. um, for that. And yeah, I don't see why not. If you guys want to choose fellowship focuses, that's fine. Um, uh, you already know kind of what the basics are for it and everything like that. So, let's see. Yeah. Now, before oh, top here. Hmm? Top here sheet. This one. yeah, towards the top right. Are you sure? Uh, no, I'm absolutely not sure. Let me open Bjarner. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's right under him, him, biography. Yeah, okay, so... Oh, sure. Yeah, you've yeah. got the line that on the left says biography and on the right says heroic stature. And below that, you've got age on the left, followed by title, followed by fellowship focus. And you should be able to edit that. Okay, there we go. Did you get it? Yep. There we go. Okay. I found it. Good. Good, good. Okay, so... Um, now, before I take potential contestants for the torch race, I'm going to read this. Um, As evening falls on the first night of the festival, a curious race is to be held. Each runner is given a lit torch to carry as they run a lap around a series of obstacles. First, they navigate a, a muddy causeway. That's misspelled. Next, they climb up a steep earthen berm. And finally, they jump or duck a series of hurdles. If the torch goes out, any roll of a Sauron's eye, they lose the race. Wrathwolf is a favorite for this race and leads the contestants. As a matter of fact, while you're all feasting, Wrath Wolf is kind of pulled up on stage and he is he is kind of slapped on the back and celebrated. But Wrath Wolf himself is not very happy with being pulled up on stage in the first place and uh, dislikes having any kind of... of um, kudos or, or being built up or anything like that. Wrathwolf is not actually from Stony Ford. However, he goes through often and he, he has become trusted in the community 
um, despite his dour dis or dour demeanor. Okay, so hearing what you all have heard, number one, do you have any questions? Okay, number two, who would like to participate? I would. Got a gun, would me? Okay, so hold on, I got to go one at a time. Luthwin, uh, what is your athletics? Three unfavored. Three not favored, okay. Um, then it was uh, Radigund. I heard her. What is yes, your... Yes, I also have three unfavored in athletics. Three also unfavored, okay. And then I heard Duota. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, and what is your athletics? Two, and it is favored. Okay, it's okay. So let me underline that. And it's only two, but it's favored. Okay, anyone else? Ewald would as well. His athletics is uh, two, but it's also favored. Okay, uh, two. And let me underline that. Okay, and. Okay, my editing fingers. It it was a really long trip getting home. There's there were a bunch of people out on the roads. Ginger, you know how Texans drive. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> glad you're alive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, before I start this, I'm going to save and then I'll go back to editing. Okay, so what we've got is this is another prolonged test of athletics. The uh, target number is standard, uh, but the first roll is minus two, the first roll is, or second roll is zero, and the third roll is plus two. Uh, and again, this is a prolonged test. Uh, Yuld, I'm going to have you go first. All right. Okay. Oh, see, so wait a minute. You didn't roll, uh, did you roll your athletics? Oh, you rolled it yeah, with a minus two, right? Yeah, I rolled it with a minus two. Okay, okay, hold on just a second. So that was an automatic success, and since it was a Gandalf's rune, it counts for two. Okay, roll your second one, please. All right, this one's zero. Here we go. Now, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, that was 13 days, 20 hours ago. Uh, so your first one, that, okay, that was a zero, and then that one was a great success. Uh, let's see. So that was the success and a Tangwa rune, so that counts for two. And then go ahead and give me your third one, please. All right, let me get that set up. Plus two. And that, yeah, that one's plus two. Here we go. Holy smokes. Oh wow! Okay, so let me let me kind of parse that one out. The success oh, that's still only worth two, but that's a pretty nice two. Okay, so two of those. Wait a minute, did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so let me go back here, and that gives you six. Duota, Woo! you are next. Okay, um, go Duota. <laughs> That sounded so unenthusiastic. <laughs> we're, not, we're competing, but you're still my friend. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just don't want any hard feelings when you lose. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> Alright, so first roll is minus two, yeah? Correct. Okay, so that that's good. That's a, uh, a, a Tangwa rune, which or not a Tangwa rune, a Gandalf rune, which counts as two, as has been spoken. Okay, your next one is at a, a bonus penalty of zero. So just a normal gotcha. roll. Oh, that's kind of a harsh one. Um... Now, wait a minute. Why is it saying that? You, oh, okay. That's just the special symbol. Okay, so you got a success and you got a Tangwar rune. So that's still going to count as two. Uh, even right. though you rolled a Sauron's Eye on that one. And go ahead and roll your third. Okay. Good 
night. Okay. Oh, so wow. that yeah, that's Holy gonna count God. as three right there. So oh, that dumb it. Yep, yeah, you've been beat. So that totaled out to seven. Okay, Radigund, you are next. Okay, I do have like one of those extra, extra dice because I explored the course yesterday. That's fine. If if that's what you want to use um, for, say, your first roll, then it's only minus one. Because this to actually, the minus two, zero, and plus two are actually taking away whole dice instead mm -hmm. of points. So um, so you're only minus one on that if you want to expend that. I do. Okay. Um, where do I write the minus and pluses and stuff? Okay, well, um, want you let me get uh, let me get Bjorn or my example open, and um, wow, the forge is kind of running a little bit slow tonight. Okay, so when you go to click on athletics, okay, it didn't open anything. There we go. Okay, so when you're in there, um, this guy's you, game paused for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, it, it, that really doesn't matter all that much. Um, you can uh, still roll dice and everything. Okay, when it, where, it, where it says bonus penalty dice value, you're going to see advanced with an arrow. Okay, just click on that arrow, and it'll give you I, bonus penalty dice value. You're just going to put minus one in there. I don't see what you're talking about. Uh, wait, don't you have to, like, uh, control click the skill or a hub? You shouldn't. I think she's having trouble. Okay, hold on. Uh, if I click on awareness, no, it should open, uh, well, on any skill, it should open uh, a window for you, and it's got something that looks like a cannon, uh, inside the big, uh, black circle. Yeah, roll formula one, it says one F something plus three S. Right, okay, so... Uh, go to the bottom of that window, and right above the roll button, it's it should say advanced. Ah, I see advanced. Click that arrow. Uh, bonus penalty dice value. Yes. And instead of minus two, I just write G minus one. Correct, correct. Then hit roll. And then hit roll. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, so you rolled a Sauron's eye, but uh oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot about something. Okay, okay, so Duoda. Um yeah? I forgot about that. Uh you were disqualified from the race because you rolled a Sauron's eye. And so your torch went out. So, yeah, on that third roll, you rolled a Sauron's Eye. And then, um... The second one. Huh? The second one, I rolled a Sauron's Eye. Was it the second one? Yep. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, so then you were disqualified on that one. Uh, you old, you might win after all. But, uh, hang oh, on. Okay. So, D. And then Radigund, I'm afraid you've done the same thing. You were able to get two points out of it. But you also were disqualified because you rolled a Sauron's Eye. Mm. Yeah, I know. Okay, Luthwin. What's that? I went boo. Yeah, I know. You got muddy climbing up the hill or something. I'll have to... Yeah, the torch went out. Let's see. The, uh, each runner is given a lit torch. Uh, first, they navigate a muddy causeway. I need to change that to muddy instead of muddle. Um, so you, you both made it through, well, no, Duota made it through the muddy causeway, um, but not up the, st uh, not up the steep earthen berm before her torch went out. Radigand, you didn't even make it completely through the causeway before you slipped okay, and fell uh, on your face. So, okay. but I dropped the torch or something. Yeah, the okay, there you go. That that works. Tell a story. Bring it. I was I was quite agile and, and successful, except, you know, the torch went out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry to hear it. Uh okay. Uh 
I have a question, Paul. Are we going at this like one at a time or all together? Well, you're you're basically doing all three roles as a prolonged test, but you need to make no, each uh, role no, I'm separately. Talking about people. I'm talking about people. Are we going one at a time or all together? Is, you're like... pretty much going all together, yes. Okay. I was wondering because if I was really hoping to be doing this in the dark, but oh well. Okay, so I, I can you can un unhide what people roll. And I don't see Duota's uh, Sauron's eye. I see a, uh, a Gandalf right. room. Right. It looks. Gandalf. That's the thing that gets me is uh, Radagon is silent. Click on the roll form formula and then look, and then it's gonna have a Gandalf rune or a uh, Sauron's eye. Eyes. Yeah. And see, that's I don't what, see one. That's Duota. what. Oh, yeah, I, I don't see Duota's. I, I see mine, but I don't see hers. Well, see, she that's didn't the, get one. That's the thing. That's that's what you're absolutely right. That's really weird because I saw the dice stop on a Sauron's eye. Is he is he hit or six? So, so that was hit, worth hit. three. Okay. Hit, hit you know what? And, then and, the, and something else, I think, right? Yeah, they had a thing on two. Okay. So, yeah, for three. In that case, mm -hmm. since that's what the dice are telling me, uh, Duota is still in it. Go ahead, Remy. Dang it. Sorry, what? <laughs> I was going to say, you could go ahead and, and say, dang it, or something oh. like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh -oh. Yeah, Radigan, you did get a Sauron's eye, and it does show as a Sauron's eye. That's I don't understand why I saw a Sauron's eye on the other one, but it came up as a Gandalf's rune. That's weird. Um, okay, so Luthwin, you got your your first success, but it's only worth one because it was a basic success. Okay. Right. Go ahead and make your second roll at uh, uh, zero no penalty. penalty bonus. No penalty bonus. Okay, your dice are still not showing up for me. Uh, it's really weird. So you got a Gandalf's rune, which is worth two, and it was a success. Uh, so, okay. All right, and let me look at something real quick. Uh, need to check something out. Okay. What did I do there? Now, wait a minute. Okay, hold on, folks. I am I have been gauging these incorrectly. Let me let me go back and take a look at these because I've been doing this wrong. Okay, that's a success because of the Gandalf short. Are you gonna need to start over? No, 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 no. You don't need to start over. One, two for that success and then success plus okay so duota uh okay that was a two because of the automatic success of it so that one should be three and then that was a success with two gandalf runes so that one's three so three six seven eight Okay, and then Radagund. Let me look at Radagund. That was two two uh, Tangwar runes. That counts as two points. With but it was not a success. It was a failure. All right, Luthwin um, got one for the success. Okay, and then the the second one was a Gandalf rune with a let's see five nine ten eleven twelve. Okay, okay, so that one was a basic success for the Gandalf's rune. Okay, all right, because it was not a success for the dice. Now, Luthwin, go ahead and give me a third roll. I'm just trying to make sure I get these all right, folks. At plus okay. two, correct? At plus two, yes. Okay, good lord. Uh, so let's see. You got a success, but that only counts for one point because you don't have a Gandalf or any uh, Tangwar runes. So that will finish you up. And then, let's see, I need to... I'm going to save this real quick. 
so that I don't lose anything, and I need to bring out Wrathwolf. Uh, adventure in PCs, Theft of the Moon. Uh, Where did Wrathwolf go? There we go. Wrathwolf the Tardy. Okay, so what I need to do is open that up. Okay, I'm going to move this over here. Wait, the so, Tardy? Wrathwolf the Tardy. So Sounds funny, doesn't it? Arrived late. Uh, he's yeah, always I'm, late. <laughs> he's always late. But the only thing that counts is keeping your torch lit. So, uh, athletics, let me pop that open. I'm going to be minus two on this one. Okay, and roll. Which oh. gives me... Oh, that that's not good. So that's going to be a line... Uh, but it's not a Sauron's eye, so he doesn't fail that way. This one's going to be a zero, so roll it. Okay, that's a success. But it's only a success, so he gets one point. Uh-oh, we might have a player character win this. A player hero. Okay. Oh, come on, it's only the third trial. And then advanced, and we're going to go plus two. I think it'll accept a plus two. And roll... Okay, great success. Uh, still no Gandalf's rune, but he had a success and a Tangwar rune, so that counts for two. But guess what? That still only gives him three points. So that means that uh, Luthwin comes in just ahead of Wrathwolf. Ewald comes in just after Luthwin, and, or I'm sorry, just ahead of Luthwin, and then Duota wins the whole thing by head and shoulders. Okay. So, um, Duota, you are, are more or less brought up, <laughs> brought up on stage <laughs> and, and kind of celebrated for what you've got. Um, so, as I'm uh, trying to wrestle with uh, putting the next part in here for the following morning... Um, you guys know what you did for the evening, um, but, okay, save. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to do before, like, Duota is hauled off to bed drunk? <laughs> um. <laughs> so, uh -oh, I, I think do? that while I would be up on stage, I would, like, raise a toast, and I'd say something along the lines of, to my family, who I won this race for, and to all the epic people of this town. Mm-hmm. You know, toast the town. Mm. All right. Uh, all of them lift their mugs, and especially your family, they're beaming with pride. They're very happy to see that you won. Not only did you win, you really won, okay? I mean, really, really well. So let's save that and make sure it came along the way that it was supposed to. And I'll have to edit the other one uh, as we're going along. Okay, so the, the feasting goes on, the drinking, the storytelling by Noreen, all of this. Um, do any of you have anything else to do before we go to the next morning? I kind of want to speak to the bull again. Uh, okay, okay, so you could, uh, you could do that, um, but as you're approaching the bowl, you notice it is standing there sleeping. Oh, all right. Do you still want to try? Ah, uh, if it's sleeping, I won't wake it up. Okay. And me, right. um, my, it would be in character for me to skip the festivities and kind of lurk around. Okay. So I I explore the town while everyone's celebrating, Everybody. and that is you know even poke into houses and stuff. But <laughs> like I, I okay like my character he tells me I'm I'm want to do I look into open windows and doors oh. and things like that. But I also skulk in alleyways. Okay. Um. So. What would I do for Radigand in in that case? Are are you looking to to take anything for the fun of it, or are you just skulking about, just kind of being overly curious? 
I'm just being overly curious. Okay, are you trying to seek any kind of advantage for the morning? Yeah, um, I'll keep an eye out on that, but mostly I want to see if what the other car- um, competitors are up to, if they're getting drunk, if they're um, doing anything there, you know, to prep that maybe I should be doing. Okay. Um, so I'll be paying attention to where they're staying mostly while they're out celebrating. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, let's see. Is that explore or stealth or both? <laughs> uh, you know, stealth is generally taken in this game as the the burglar sort of of skill that you would use so actually do you have burglary as a um uh yes. a trait yes i do okay yes, I do. well let's see uh radigund let me open radigund up and kind of read that one for myself okay. it's Where like this venerable talent includes pickpocketing lock picking and in general any shadowy way to get hold of the possessions of others or access to protected areas okay. and my character uh likes to look into protected areas <laughs> and she's a curious and nosy sort there should be no secrets among friends no, no, here. absolutely no. no secrets. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Um, you know what? Let me uh, let me open that up again. Uh, hang on, just a second. Oh yes, Ross, you're right. You are correct. Let me. That's what I've been waiting to do. <laughs> yeah. Um. I I really. Well, I've got it listed as search slash seek. Yeah. So, um, I think scan would fit that just fine. Yeah. I I really don't like the fact that they changed search for scan. That that just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. But uh, that's that's how the game is. So. Okay. Um. Okay. Lauren Lauren will toast um his open friend Lutheran. Even though she didn't win, when she came, you know, she ranked, so. Oh, okay, so you're, you're just I trying to... I did better to... than the one that got their torch, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're way better than I am. My short, uh, torch lanes weren't made for running. Right, right. Oh, they right. weren't. Okay, <laughs> okay, Ginger, um, uh, Radigund, if you would please go ahead and roll for me a um let's see everybody's kind of busy at the fair or at the uh at the festival so go ahead and add one dice to uh scan and just roll scan scan is favored yeah scan is favored so plus one. Mm-hmm. And uh, roll that. Yeah. Now, depending on what you do roll, boy, those are some dice right there. Goodness gracious. Uh, shiny. Shiny. So you got a success against your own your own uh, uh, target number. How? Let me let me kind of go over the seven trials. I don't think any of those would be affected. Seeking field. You know, you got a, a basic success. Let's say I'm not sure how it would help. Because it none doesn't of have to help. Well, none of the four remaining trials um have anything that really could help. Everything's pretty much out in the open. Okay, okay, here's an idea. You get to see the location for the sickle. It's it's on a table. Um and there are two bearings inside 
uh, both of which are drinking. Uh, it is inside uh, the um, the marshal's tent. Uh, as I'm like heading back from the bull, you know, trying to talk with the bull, could I potentially see uh, Ra- Ra- Raiden? Uh, Radigand? Um, yeah, Radigand. Mm-hmm. She's trying to be real stealthy uh, with that. Um, okay, roll awareness with a penalty. Since these are dice penalties and not just solid numbers, I'll go on it. How would I do this? Roll awareness at a minus one. Me? Uh, oh, no. Uh, no, me. Uh, yeah, for Luthwin. Uh, it's dark out, right? It is dark, so yeah, that would that would uh, take off another another dice. Nope, not for me. I get plus one when it's dark out. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Cultural. Luthwin, yeah, that's a that's a cultural thing. Folk of the dusk gain one dice for all. Common skills in the dark. So, okay, but she is still trying to be stealthy, so your one dice addition cancels out the darkness. But she still, you're, you still have a penalty of one dice. No, wait, when it is dark, I get the plus one. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. So the darkness doesn't give me a penalty. Okay, yeah, I've I've got a I've got a reading down here for this. Uh, I actually typed it up. Okay, uh, long defeat, lore of secrets must be in background. Connections, abilities. Well, I was supposed to write it down. Okay, uh, you know what? You're right. So, so no penalty there. Okay, roll it. Okay. So, what do you do when you see her? What are you doing? Just you walk up to me and just say that out of nowhere? Um, yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, did you want to try and sneak up on her? No, oh, not really. I just walked up. Because you're, yeah, you hear, um, uh, uh, um, uh huh, yeah, Radigand, you hear behind you, uh, footsteps on grass. It's, it's not real loud, but it's also not real quiet. And wait a minute, <laughs> Luthwin, you participated in that last trial, which was full of mud, so you also hear, uh, wet, soggy shoes. Ah. <laughs> turn, you know, hold my finger over my lips at you, like shush, only without making a sound, just as you walk up, so that you don't say anything and disturb the uh, drinking half-asleep guards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you... Yeah, you are, Aren't we where we're not supposed to be? You are, well, kind of, yeah. Um, You are kind of where you're not supposed to be. Um, Luthwin, you are able to see her, but you are not able to really sneak up. Understand? Yeah. Wasn't okay. Planning to. Okay. Yeah. I kind of make the hush sound over my mouth. You know, put a finger over my own lips with a smile and a wink at you, like like be quiet, but I don't stop you from walking up. <laughs> As I get closer, I then whisper quiet, quieter. You know, I was like, "What are you doing?" I just point at the at the guards, and then I I kind of you know make a, a pantomime, a uh, drunk, you know, like <laughs> kind of a uh. face. <laughs> but just a pantomime. Okay. I, I'm 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 quietly saying, "Look how drunk they are." There you go. That works. Um. So that's where all you as see. I, as I, as I keep, uh, as I start walking quietly away, mm-hmm. 
um, hopefully to lead him away, or her, Luthwin, away mm-hmm. with me. As if we were just walking past. <laughs> I follow. <laughs> okay. And I introduce myself. Uh, Hi, I'm Luthwin. What's your name? I, uh, good race today. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, uh. Yes? There, what's your name? Oh, uh, Radigund. I'm Radigund the Silent. I don't believe we've met. You are? Uh, Luthwin of the Woodland. Well met, Luthwin. Uh, are you from here? Uh, hereabouts. Not from the city, though. I, uh, I'm pretty bummed that I didn't get very far in the race. Uh, that's I'm fine. afraid you've caught me moping. <laughs> uh, well, you could join me for drinks in a story or two. <laughs> well, they're abound all over the place. Uh... Isn't that what's great about stories? They're told over and over again by so many people. <laughs> <laughs> Too true. Too true. So I so I keep talking to her, you know, oh him. And he's like, I kind of don't leave him alone. You mean Radigan? You sp- yeah, Radigan. Uh, Radigan is a she. Alone. Yeah. Yeah, Radigan oh, is a she. Okay. Couldn't quite tell by the profile pic. Uh, I don't quite leave her alone unless she tells me to. <laughs> yeah. all night. I'm not going to do that. I, I, I wasn't... Uh... I wasn't doing anything wrong. <laughs> no, you're doing really well. And, and to like shoo him off would be her off would be to uh, seem like a guilty conscience, especially since I I was just you know made it quite clear that I was moping. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I say so you should go celebrate. I f- I find I'm not in much of a celebratory mood. Oh, uh, well, well, I'm sure a few drinks could fix that right around. Okay, you, you guys see the uh, the image that I just dropped up? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty yeah. big. It's pretty large. That is Radigant. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get that. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, Apparently she's pretty tall as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. She's taller than most of of the, the little